Today, let's talk about a bad season in David's life. I'm going to read you from 1 Samuel chapter 27, verses 5, 6, and 7, where we read this. Then David said to Achish, If I have now found favor in your eyes, let them give me a place in some town in the country that I may dwell there. For why should your servant dwell in the royal city with you? So Achish gave him Ziklag that day, Therefore Ziklag has belonged to the kings of Judah to this day. Now the time that David dwelt in the country of the Philistines was one full year and four months. For many years, Saul hunted David and hoped to kill him. David endured all of this bravely, but eventually came to the place where he felt that he simply couldn't take it anymore. In his discouragement, he left the kingdom of Israel and made his home among the Philistines. The verses in our Bible passage describe David's conversation with a Philistine ruler named Achish. Because they were the enemies of Israel, David fought against the Philistines many times. Now, he considered these confirmed enemies of Israel to be his friend. Look at how David spoke to Achish. If I have now found favor in your eyes... Before, David never cared about finding favor in the eyes of a Philistine ruler. That was a bad change in David. David said to Achish, Why should your servant dwell in the royal city with you? It's unpleasant to hear David say to a Philistine ruler, Your servant. David asked Achish for a city. He said, Let them give me a place that I may dwell there. In David's mind, this wasn't just a visit among the Philistines. Maybe he thought that one day he would return to Israel, but he planned on a long stay among the Philistines. He wanted to dwell there and did for one full year and four months. During that time, David made his living and provided for all his men by being a bandit. He roamed the area and attacked villages and camps among different nomadic tribes. When they attacked, they killed everyone and stole everything. David used to fight for the honor and cause of God. Now he fought wars for profit. He left no one alive to cover the dishonorable way that he lived and made money. Much later in his life, David would have a far more notorious season of sin with Bathsheba. And he would even end up killing her husband, Uriah, to cover his sin. Though that later event is far more serious, the root of that sin nourished way back here in 1 Samuel chapter 27. Here, many years before David killed Uriah to cover his sin, David killed these men and women in his raids to cover his sin. The roots of sin must be dealt with or they'll come back with even greater strength. To some degree, most every Christian has been where David was at in this bad season. Many of us have experienced some season of spiritual decline and covered up sin. We can understand what David did, but it was still wrong and it was very dangerous. A bad season can be just as dangerous for us. Dear friend, dear brother or sister, if you find yourself today in a bad season, in a season of significant compromise morally and just doing what's not right before God, today, here's your gracious wake-up call that you can come back to God and get it right with Him through confession and repentance. And God invites you to do that before Him today.